One question we get asked a lot is, you know, what optimized rules do I use? <clears throat> and I thought I'd just take a second to walk through a few of the most used rules. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. They may not pertain to you, but I think uh, a good place to start would, would be with, with these rules. So let's take a look. Um, if I open up the Optimize Options dialog, I can go to the Rules tab and view all rules. Plan it together initially um, ships with one rule. It's called a Dispatcher Rule, and it um, you can see at the bottom here, it just says it has some weight on delivery date, um, earliest job need date. Okay, so it's trying to, out of the box, it honestly schedules with earliest job need date in mind anyway. So this is just enforcing that a bit more. But let's go through the tabs here. So with the synchronous tab, unless you're bringing in revenue or you have drums in place for drum buffer rope, this is not going to be too much use to you. Um, I'd say it's not a great place to start with these, so let's just go on to delivery date tab. So there you go. We see our earliest job need date it has some weight set on it. So that's um, one you can definitely start with. We also have some interesting ones on here like um, JIT start dates, earliest um, operation need date, MO need date. Um, I'd say one on here you might want to wait, want to play around with is a group by customer and the critical ratio. Um, those are definitely very commonly used, um, but not as much maybe as on the priority tab. Um, we've got an MO in process here, so this one's used a lot, where if the job is um, currently started and in process, it's going to try to group like MOs, uh, like products um, with that job. So that should cut down on some setups. There's also fewest eligible resources. So you know, in, in that case, if I've got three resources and three jobs, and maybe I don't care that it's going to take longer to run the three jobs that are they could run at the same time but I'd have to use three resources so I could add some weight to fewest eligible resources and try to group those jobs on the same resource priority is a good one if you bring in priorities you can um, try to get the lowest priority number to go first hot jobs certainly but you may not want to add those in the beginning Efficiency, you see a lot of effects here, so least setup hours is definitely a good one. Essentially does the same thing as setup code. If you're using codes, you can group by setup code, which is most likely going to reduce your setup hours. And these kind of all play into the same game here. Near a setup number, if there was a number, uh, a number you're using for setup. Um, one common one that a lot of people use uh, is the group by ML product name. So that'll try to group like products together. Essentially, if you have products running back to back, you won't have setup. So that's one typically people add some weight to. And then of course you've got your operation attributes, and these are all custom. So you know, you might have a size and then you might have a color. Like you want to run white before red, because the red would bleed into the white. So you could have a color attribute and um, set certain weights on that or you know you could mark a job with with a, a red the attribute name of red and um, and you know you wouldn't add a lot of weight to that so that's a quick overview but I think I'd stick with the efficiency tab and the delivery day tab to start 